Okay, question three. Determine the exact coordinates of the points of intersection of the circle uh, with the equation x, x squared plus y squared equals 100, okay, and the line y equals 2x. Now that's been drawn for you right here so you can see it. So what we're looking for here are the coordinates of those two points. Now algebraically, uh, what I would do with this is substitution here. I can see, and actually maybe what I'll do is I'll, whoops, sorry, wrong direction, I'll zoom in a little bit here. I can see in this case here that y is equal to 2x, okay? So at the two points of intersection that I'm interested in here, okay, the y coordinate here along this line, every y coordinate along this line is going to be equal to twice the x coordinate. That includes at those two points of intersection. So in my equation of the circle here, x squared plus y squared equals 100, and I'll write that out here, okay, x squared plus y squared equals 100, there are two points where the y here can be replaced with twice the x value. Okay, so I'm going to just assume that that's true. Okay, I'm going to assume that that's true. Uh, I haven't specified the x value, but if this is if this is equal to each other, if it's if it's true that I can make that substitution, then I should be able to determine from the equation what x value goes with both of those points here. So I just do the substitution. I'm just saying y is equal to 2x. Now I'm going to ex expand that out. x squared plus, well, that's going to be 4x squared equals 100. Okay, x squared plus 4x squared. Okay, this is addition. I've, I've seen a number of people do this where they go, oh, x squared plus x squared. It's got to be x to the fourth. And no, that's not true. That's multiplication. This is addition. I've got 1x squared here, 4x squared here. That is 5x squared total. Okay, I will divide. That makes x squared. Okay, 100 divided by 5 is 20. And when I take the square root, I'm going to get plus or minus root 20. Now, plus or minus, that's important here. Okay, because I have I have one positive x uh, sorry x coordinate here, and then down here, I've got another negative x coordinate. So that plus or minus is important here. And I'm going to simplify that a little bit further here. This will be plus or minus 2 root 5. Remember what I'm doing here is I'm, I'm taking the, the, the doubled factor of 2 that are factors of 20 and I'm pulling 1 out. So there we go. That's what x is equal to. To find the y coordinate, I'm going to either use the equation of the circle or the equation of the line. Now, I mean, look at that. Squared, squared, ugh, 2x. Well, I love that. So let's let's do that. Okay. So y y equals two x. So if that's equal to plus or minus two root five, okay. If I plug that in here, plus or minus two root five, and I this is kind of an awkward way to do this because you wouldn't normally do this, but when you multiply that through, you're going to get plus or minus four root five. Now, okay, notice that the 2 does not multiply through the radical. Now, some of you had started doing that at the end, okay? Uh, you, you need to remember that that's not true, that the 2 is a coefi uh, coefficient of the whole front of the whole thing. It's going to be multiplied by that coefficient. But this gives us the, the point here. Um, if it's positive, if the x value is positive, sorry, the, the y value here is positive, so this is going to be 2 root 5 comma 4 root 5. And if it's negative 2 root 5, it'll be negative 4 root 5. And that makes total sense based on the diagram I'm seeing, because here I'm seeing positive y, sorry, positive x, positive y, negative x, negative y. So again, 2 root 5, comma 4 root 5, negative 2 root 5, comma negative 4 root 5.